The VLC video source can be an interesting tool to use and it's most of the time overlooked. But if you know a few tricks to do with it, then it could be a handy source. Now let's have a look at it. If we right click, add VLC video source, we'll call it video VLC video source tutorial when I when I can learn to type this properly I can still never type tutorial properly we have loop playlist and shuffle playlist which do as you'd expect them to do one will keep looping the other will shuffle stop when not visible now this is related to the program so when it's not visible in program it will never show you can pause when not visible and unpause when visible so that will show it as paused in the preview or always play even when not visible. We'll do that so we'll we'll be able to see it. Actually, let's try this first. We can add a playlist, so we can add files or a directory, the same as we can do with a uh, image slideshow. And we have our playlist here. We have network caching. We don't need to touch that. Audio track one and subtitle track one. These depend on the source itself so you could open VLC and check your source to check which audio track or subtitle track you want to use from it and what we will do is I'll press OK here and right now it's not showing because we didn't enable it to show always so right now if I transition it will start my video playing right there and as you can see I'll get that lower on volume because it has its own volume and as you can see that's our video right there and what we can do is edit it and i believe if we swipe it's still going to be active right there because it's active right here but if it stops here it stops there then i'll have to restart if i click always play even when not visible it will play so even if i swipe it there change it it's still playing so i've closed it and it's still playing i've closed it still playing so it is a it's a preferential thing it depends on what you want to do but what else is cool about the VLC video source is that you can feed it not only files and directories but you can also feed it URLs and I have a handy trick to do which could be useful for people who are trying to do live coverage of say some stream happening on Twitch say e3 is happening and you want to cast your reactions there's an easy way to do it, except for just going into Twitch or YouTube and capturing the window. You can capture the video directly. There are multiple ways to do it, but I can show you a way, and I will show you a way right now, how to do it on Twitch. So I opened my Twitch window here, and I can see that we have Faker streaming. We'll go into Faker stream. And, okay, he's muted, so we'll right-click here, and we'll copy the address, or copy this address, either or. We'll go here to a tool called Stream URL Extraction Tool. I'll leave the link in the description. We'll put in Faker's URL, get Stream URL, and it will give us different qualities to choose from. We're going to choose 1080p60, so we'll right click and copy the link address. And then what we will do here is in our VLC video source, we will add path, and I will paste that URL there click OK, then click OK. Now, nothing will happen because it's not active. Actually, did we have that active always? Yes, it's always play when not visible. And as you can see, we can capture... Excuse me, I picked the wrong one. Let me pick that. We'll resize it. And as you can see, we have Faker Stream, which is happening live right now. It's right there. There will be different delays, of course, because it's a refreshed source. So one would be ahead of the other, but could easily capture there. We could, if we want, transform and fit to screen. And there we are. And that's another handy way to use the VLC video source. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up. For any queries, remember, leave them in the comments or find me live on Twitch and ask me any questions there. Don't forget to subscribe for more content and in the next video we'll be having a look at the media source. Take care.